Every day we're thankful for what Texas Children's has done for our daughter's quality of life. Our daughter Lillian Grace was born. Everything seemed seemed pretty normal uh, up until the point of a few months later, where she wasn't starting to she was starting not to hit some of her milestones. Uh, so we had an MRI of her uh, of her brain done, and it was immediately clear that there was uh, some problems with her, the formation of her of her brain, particularly her right hemisphere. You instantly knew in the pit of your stomach that something was not right. So a few weeks. After her first birthday, we found ourselves um, inpatient for the first time at Texas Children's in their epilepsy monitoring unit. And at that time, we had no idea the, the severity of, of the seizures that she was having. We also learned that our daughter had a permanent profound hearing loss in her left ear. So this kind of prompted me to do research, and one of the conditions that came up in my research was cytomegalovirus congenital CMV. I contracted the virus while I was pregnant. 50 to 80 percent of us have had a CMV infection at some point in our life and it might feel like a common cold or you have no real side effects for a healthy individual, but to an unborn fetus this virus can be devastating. It was a really difficult time. We started going inpatient once a month to check on the progress of her seizures and her seizure medication. And a lot of the time, the news was not good. And so the question then will turn into, well, what next? It was a whole slew of doctors that kind of came together as a group to study her case. And they kind of came to the conclusion that the only way that they could stop all the seizures and uh, ensure that Lillian could lead a, a somewhat normal life was to do a radical surgery called hemispherectomy. Of course, from a, from a parent perspective, one of the toughest days of your life, that feeling of having to hand your daughter over and then seeing them go through a number of doors, and before you know it, uh, they're in surgery, in major brain surgery, and uh, you don't really know what the outcome is, no matter, no matter what. She blew away all of our expectations for her recovery, you know, crawling across the hospital room 10 days after. She's a typical toddler, uh, you know, getting into as much trouble and having as much fun as, as, as possible. We are at Texas Children's Hospital three days a week. She receives outpatient therapy there. Our home is with the team that saved our daughter and gave her a chance for a life that she never would have had. Our hope and our goal is and our belief is that uh, the future is wide open for her. Mm -hmm.